Hi, this is Anthony, and yep, it's that time already, time for another Firefox review. So Firefox 39 was released on July 2nd, 2015. It was scheduled to be released on June 30th. However, it was delayed for a couple of days due to some browser stability issues. There is not much in terms of new features. Uh, this update mostly includes improvements and bug fixes. The only notable change is the ability to share Firefox Hello URLs with social networks, and I'll talk about this in a moment. There were over 3,200 bug fixes and fixes to security vulnerabilities, um, and in the previous version I experienced several browser crashes, though not as many as the one before, but um, it still had a page full of crash reports submitted to Mozilla. So I'm hoping this one's better. So let's talk about Firefox Hello. So Firefox Hello, as you probably know, is the online chatting feature that Mozilla introduced in December 2014. They have uh, enhanced the Firefox Hello feature since they first launched, and uh, recently they introduced the screen sharing feature. So let's take a quick look at how to share Firefox Hello URLs and social networks. So this is an extension of the Firefox Social API feature that was introduced way back in Firefox 20. And uh, once you've created a conversation room and want to share the link like you see on the screen right now, uh, you can click this uh, share link uh, button in the Firefox Hello dialog box. And you, if you haven't set up the social share feature, you will get this message um, to basically allow you to set it up by clicking this add share panel to your toolbar. You can then set up most of the pop uh, popular networks like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus, and uh, many others. So after updating Firefox 39, um, I've been getting this error uh, for Firefox Hello, but I think they've fixed it since then. So if you'd like to learn more about Firefox Hello and how to use it, you can check this tutorial on my YouTube channel. Mozilla also introduced Pocket in between their regular Firefox browser releases. And Pocket is essentially a save for later service that allows you to share and, and, or rather save uh, web content to check later. Uh, you can check this tutorial to learn more about uh, the Pocket feature that Firefox introduced. So some of the other changes in Firefox 39 include a number of improvements and security fe features for Mac OS X and Linux users. Uh, they have removed the support for insecure SSL v3 for network communication and this has been done mainly for security reasons because uh, SSL v3 is sort of antiquated right now. Uh, they have expanded support for HTML5 standards and for developers um, uh, the drag and drop uh, feature is enabled for nodes in inspector markup view and a local host uh, is now available offline for WebSocket connections. For a full list of uh, Firefox uh, uh, features or uh, new features and improvements uh, check this Firefox 39 release notes and you can find the link in the description section of this uh, video. So these are the results of the Firefox 39 browser benchmark test using Peacekeeper. Overall, from a performance perspective, um, it seems to be a positive update. And as you can see from this chart, uh, there is not, uh, there was not much difference in terms of the score compared to the last one. Um, 2542 as compared to 2535. However, Firefox uh, continues to outperform Google Chrome, as you can see, uh, for the f uh, last four updates. Um, I hope I don't experience as many crashes like I did with the last two updates. I don't use too many Firefox add-ons, but one of my Firefox add-ons, Northern 360 Toolbar, was not compatible with Firefox 39. So bear in mind that uh, not all add-ons will be compatible with this new version of Firefox, um, but eventually they get updated. So if you use many Firefox add-ons and you cannot do without them, you just may want to wait for a few days before updating to Firefox 39. 
So that's pretty much it. Um, you know, hope you found this useful. Uh, feel free to check my YouTube channel for more Firefox reviews and tutorials. And as usual, if you've got any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by.